Gregory, you have something to say about social media content creation and how a lot of people get discouraged about social media because they create content and they don't, they don't feel like they're getting enough traction. They don't feel like they're getting enough likes or comments and things like that. And I, yeah, I wanted you to share what you were sharing before that we started. Sure, recording. I just, just before we recorded, it popped into my head this idea that I've heard you say on a number of occasions, the idea of content is king and distribution is queen, but the whole, which is beautiful. And then but the whole framework of the three stages of content that you model and teach, the way that it's transformed my life and has prompt and has uh, uh, inspired me to be engaged and enthusiastic about regular content creation is actually the the word or the phrasing came in that was uh, uh, is is that self realization is ace. If there's a king and a queen, we've got to we've got to have an ace too. And content and, is king, distribution is queen, and self realization is ace. I, and I the, love that. And yeah. the idea, the idea for for me is you had shared about someone earlier in the meeting today that somebody was asking a question regarding that they were feeling discouraged because they weren't getting a lot of market feedback, they weren't getting a lot of likes, and they were questioning whether content creation and social media sharing was for them in terms of their business or not. And inside of me, I thought, well, it sounds like there's an underlying belief that it's all about or that the primary metric is the market feedback and inside of me what keeps me inspired is you know i'm learning i'm writing and i'm learning i'm videoing and i'm posting and i'm learning and it happens that if i trust that and do that with enthusiasm but prioritizing the idea of my own self-realization being ace then the the focus then i'm that much more inspired to be engaged with the with the king the content creation i'm that much more inspired to share the distribution the queen but really without attachment because either way i'm winning i'm oh winning God. because yeah. i'm yeah. learning and refining my own insights yes. and ability to articulate yes. you know what has worked for yeah. me and that i believe will serve my clients and so perspective. good i love this so much I want to bring one more one more idea in here, which is the old quote from Frederick Buechner: "Your calling is where your great talents meets the world's deep hunger." You know, or or where your great gifts meets the world's deep hunger. And so, this Venn diagram of you're sharing, you're sharing your gifts, you're you're practicing, you are um, practicing creativity, fitness, finding out what your voice is, and the self realization you're talking about. And on the other hand, the market response or the market receiving of your gifts is on this side and that that venn diagram that that sliver in the middle where it's like ooh my authentic sharing is is healing somebody is helping somebody is is bringing light and uh blessing to to somebody to other people to a lot of people perhaps in that in that sliver is um is where we find our calling and so like how can you find your calling unless you are creating authentically and sharing it as widely as possible to find that find that sliver of oh my gosh the alignment the the synergy between what I feel so passionate about and what they the market the people I'm reaching feel so healed by so transformed by you won't know that unless you're putting it out there to as many people as possible so thank you thank you thank you for bringing this up I uh, I will uh, I will quote you from now on content is king distribution is queen but self-realization is ace. <laughs> and go. may I add one more piece? <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Sure. Yeah, is yeah. that what you were just saying? You know, what brought me to you in the first place was the phrase that had occurred to me when I was put off by some of the marketing I was seeing, and it occurred to me marketing as ministry, and I and I and I plugged it into Google, and you came up, <laughs> and you know, and I've never looked back in terms yeah. of yeah, oh, yeah. you know. George is my guy. He's speaking the same language. Yeah. The, with marketing as ministry, the first one we're ministering to is ourselves. Mm, there and we then, go. Yes. And, and then from the self-ministry. So for me, uh, stage one content creation is starts with ministering to myself. And, and and then is extended th- through my own experience of what has been healing and empowering and, and all of the things that you said. 
as that comes through me and I document that publicly, I will uh, Im implicitly find my ideal audience that that intersection in the Venn diagram yes. because because it will speak yes. and minister to those people that it does and those Beautiful. people who it doesn't that's fine too but but my yeah my priority is my own attunement to what's lighting me up yeah oh man I love this thank you thank you thank you for bringing this up Gregory and and for the person uh, who asked the question that that prompted this. Um, Gregory, you mentioned stage one content. So I just want to mention those who don't know what that is. There is a video called the three stages of content creation that I made that explains that you, may, you might want to look that up next, but thanks so much uh, for watching. Thanks, Gregory, for your, for your service.